so now let us discuss the uh, diffractionate wire using laser source this is a laser source semiconductor laser source now this is the wire i am using for my diffraction experiment okay in the stand we have fixed here now the screen i have taken as a graph sheet itself so that i can take the readings easily so to begin with what we have to do is we have to keep the distance between screen and the wire as 80 cm using a long scale then allow a laser beam to fall on the wire exactly and you will get a diffraction pattern like this okay so this is your central maxima so gaps you can make out the uh, dark and a bright fringes here so from here to here it is we call it as a central maxima so in this experiment we have to measure the width of the central maxima okay using a graph sheet itself you can measure or you can use an additional scale for the measurement of the uh, width of the central scale first dark fringe to this uh, dark fringe means this is a gap you can see here from this gap to this gap you have to note down the reading that will give you the width of the central maxima okay then repeat the experiment for different distances uh, say 90 centimeter then keep on changes take this back using the scale take this back every time by increasing the distance by 10 centimeter 80 centimeter 90 centimeter 100 110 and 120 we tabulate the readings and the calculation is very simple using the formula you can do the calculation possible okay now you see here is the tabular column so 80 centimeter in meters you write it as 0 0.8 0 0.9 1 1.10 like this and every time you have to note down the width of the central maxima in this column this is your final formula for calculating a thickness of the wire the aim of the experiment is to determine the diameter of the wire or thickness of the wire using a diffraction phenomena and the source of light we have used here is laser so the laser wavelength is given here okay so lambda is given the width of the central maxima is known okay in the denominator this is nothing but your width of the central maxima this capital d is nothing but a distance between the source and the screen this value we have to substitute okay so after and do the calculation for each reading here then take an average and write down the result here as the uh, thickness of the wire here and that will be in meters okay take care that all the values must be all the four trials if you are taking a reading for four trials all the four readings must be consistent okay so this is all about the diffraction at a wire